Welcome everyone. In 1989, a movie came out to poor critical reviews. Since then, it's become a cult classic and one of my favorite comedies. But what happened to the filming locations from Weird Al Yankovic's UHF? Join me, shall you? Are you daydreaming again? No, no, I was just uh, admiring how clean and shiny this grill is. They'll be eating breakfast or something, and all of a sudden they'll say, Hey, we screwed up! Oh, jeez, you better not let Big Edna see that. She'll have a fit. Big Edna, Big Edna. He's not like a broken record. Right up ahead, we have where George's apartment was, right next to the Karate Dojo. Right there, Cooney's Karate. Stupid! What can I say? I'm a miserable, worthless hunk of slime. Here. I want you to take this crowbar and just bash my head right in. Go ahead, really, please. Just, just bash it right in. Hey, Cooney. Hiya, George. Beginner's class today, huh? Yeah. They're so stupid. 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 Seems legit. Oh wait, I can just walk around. Weird Al Yankovic's vehicle with his girlfriend pulled straight up towards us. It was all dark out here. Their car would have drove straight that way. I can't believe your Uncle Harvey's letting you run his TV station. And towards us. This was all gravel. This was the sidewalk that led straight up to the door, the front door. Right there was channel 62, U62. The car would have been parked right here. They would have walked right down this sidewalk. I don't know about this, George. I, mean, I don't know the first thing about what goes on at a television station. Check out that greenhouse right back there. You can see that when the two characters are walking towards us. That greenhouse is new, but that one is in the shot. Don't worry, Bob. It's just like working in a fish market. Except you don't have to clean and gut fish all day. Pretty amazing to think that it all happened right here. The fake facade, U62. This is the holy grail of UHF filming locations right here. Ew, what is that? Look how this tree has actually busted up the concrete. That tree, of course, was not there when the movie was filmed. This was all an empty parking lot. All these trees have sprung up. Still a few remnants of the parking area. You idiot! Can't you do anything I tell you to do? The big tree is gone. Hey, mister! Change. You got change. You mind? Get out of my way. Can't you help a guy out? Anything. Ah. 
Anymore, buddy. Get out of my office and take that ridiculous thing off. Is this it? No. Is this it? No. And I can't delay the broadcast because the mayor is supposed to be coming out any minute. No, I've looked all over. I don't see a Noodles McIntyre. McIntosh. At your service. Boy, it's quite a scene this morning on the front steps of City Hall. We're awaiting the emergence of Mayor Thompson from his annual city budget meeting. <laughs> oh, I think he... Oh, yeah, here comes the mayor now. Yes. Technical difficulties. Oh, did I do that? Oopsie! No, no, those things are fragile. You should be more careful. This one's a toughie. Where on the interstate was the billboard for Spatula City? The answer is right behind me. There's just one place to go for all your spatula needs. Spatula City! Spatula City! A giant warehouse of spatulas for every occasion. But the actual Spatula City is nowhere near the billboard. It's right here. Warehouse Market. And because we eliminate the middleman, we can sell all our spatulas factory direct to you. Woohoo, yeah, woohoo. The bottom part of the awning has been redone, but the top part's the same, as well as this wall in the far left corner. Spatula City, seven locations. We're in the yellow pages under spatulas. World's slowest and longest train. This is the cemetery from the Plots R Us Mortuary Service Commercial. It's kind of hard to find the exact pinpointed spot where they filmed the scene. But the way you can tell is from that little planner right there. And of course the headstones and the graves. Are you tired of sloppy cut-rate funerals? You've tried the rest. Now try the best. Even that little planner is still there. Don't drive yourself crazy looking for the parking lot and the sign from the cemetery because it's technically not at the cemetery. It's right here, a totally different location, a totally different area. The plots are us, mortuary service. Remember, there's always plenty of free parking. And don't forget to visit our new salad bar. What's your name? Billy. Billy what? This is the location of the bar where George and his buddy would have gone in and got the drink. But George, what about... Bob, it doesn't matter anymore. It's burned down and been demolished since filming. Right here is where the bar would have been. They would have been sitting at the bar right here. Here's where one of the refrigerators were. The bartender was standing right there. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, play later. Gentlemen, what can I get you? And of course the TV was mounted right up in this area. He's coming back on. Right behind me is one of my favorite scenes in the movie, Raul's Wild Kingdom. Hey man, this is Raul Hernandez and welcome to Raul's Wild Kingdom. So awesome. Today we're teaching poodles how to fly. Come here, are you psyched? Are you ready? Right there, the middle window is where Raul threw the poodles out and the pile of poodles on the ground. And if you look out the window, you can actually see this door and that window when he's looking down out of that window. Get ready 
and fly! Oh, man. Also, one of the funniest scenes, in my opinion, in the history of movies, happened right in front of there. Raul Hernandez? Yeah. Got the delivery here for your next show? Oh, great. What you got? It's two armadillos, three badgers. Badgers? Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers! Can you tell me how to see more videos? Don't you know how to click the subscribe button? I'm sorry. I haven't subscribed to Adam the Woo. <laughs> Behind me is Uncle Harvey's house, right there. He would have come down those stairs. He would have gotten the cab right there. He's back, and this time, he's mad. Gandhi 2. No more Mr. Passive Resistance. He's out to kick some butt. There is only one law. His law. This is one bad mother you don't want to mess with. Don't move, slain body. Don't move! Gandhi 2.